five days away from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Day Zero Edition. I'm extremely excited, I guess you guys are too, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a breakdown for the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare map Atlas Gorge, other known as Pipeline from Call of Duty 4. If you guys are not familiar with the map, I'll quickly run through and what it was like. Pretty much, it was a slow paced to medium paced map, and there was some sniping in it, there were some nice features within the map, and was probably one of the most favorited maps in the Call of Duty series. I'm extremely excited to see a return in the Call of Duty series within Advanced Warfare. Uh, the new map Atlas Gorge does look like it's going to be towards a more close combat rather than a slow paced map as it was in the previous Call of Duty. It looks like the exo abilities have taken a big advantage in the playstyle as we have seen in previous videos and of course if you did miss yesterday's video when I went over it uh, just a little bit um, you guys go check it out. I'll leave a link down in the description below. It was also going over the season pass information and when the first map pack is actually going to be released for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. But other than that, I'm extremely excited for that Atlas Gorge map. Um, it does look very good, and of course, the kill streaks on it does look very good as well. It does look like we have some sort of um, turret which is going to be mounted on the, one of the highest points on the map. You are going to be able to shoot over. I think it's going to last for around 30 seconds, and that should rack you up at least 15 to 20 kills if you are accurate with it. Um, it does look like explosives on the weapon does look very good. And of course, I'll leave images down in the description below for you guys to go check out. If you guys are not familiar what I'm talking about, hopefully within Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, um, the Atlas Gorge map hasn't actually changed too much with Pipeline. Hopefully within Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, the map is going to be pretty similar. Um, hopefully it's very good and does stay the same type of map. And we have seen some images with some extra items added with inside the map. There's some extra props and whatnot. But other than that, it does look very similar. And I will also leave a link down below for both the Call of Duty 4 and the Advanced Warfare version of the map. But guys, that's it for the video. I'll have a video out later on today discussing more information on different types of stuff within Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Stay tuned for that. And guys, tell me guys what you think of the motion tracking that I actually did in the beginning of the video. I'd like to know your thoughts and opinions on it if I should keep it going on. Um, I'll try and count down to zero or to the day zero edition, which would be pretty cool. I'll try and mix it up with some different maps to go along with the gameplay in the background that you guys have been seeing. Unfortunately, I didn't do too good in the gameplay. Try and bring you guys better gameplay in the next video. Stay tuned for another video later on my channel. Other than that, the comments of the previous video will now be on screen. I do hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a great day and until next time I am out